last week the Department of Justice acknowledged that in 2020 they had used, uh, the FBI had used 702 authorities to illegally spy on a member of Congress. Can you tell us who that member of Congress was? Has that member of Congress been briefed by the White House? I would refer you to Department of Justice, just not going to speak to that from here. Go ahead. Thanks, Karen. Uh, How worried should Americans be about China spying on them here at home? And what do you mean specifically, Peter? Well, there were the Chinese spy balloons, and now there are these Chinese spy cranes. The Wall Street Journal is comparing them to Trojan horses in use at 80% of U.S. ports. Again, so on on the cranes, don't have to uh, don't have any comment on that specific reporting. I would refer you to the Department of Transportation uh, and the Department of Defense, who've been uh, tasked with Congress to study uh, this particular issue. The National Security Council, in close coordination with the Department of Homeland Security and Department of Defense, Coast Guard, and members of the Intelligence Committee, have been actively working to address potential cyber vulnerabilities across the marine transportation system. This in national security. And if this is a Department of Transportation lead, does Secretary Buttigieg have experience it's a, with it's, it's not just a, It's not just the Department of Transportation, it's also the Department of Defense. Secondly, a month ago, on February 6th, I asked you about TikTok, whether it was a national security risk, and you had noted that there was an ongoing CFIUS review at the time. Just last week, there was some conversation about this as well, um, and you said that it is a, quote, or you talked about the, quote, potential national security risk. So is CFIUS, uh, just if you could clarify, d does the White House believe that TikTok is a potential national security risk, or is that what CFIUS and that process works itself through will determine? So there's a CFIUS investigation, so we try not to dive in too much because there is a CFIUS uh, process that's going, going, that's ongoing, and we want to let that process go uh, forward. But we have been very clear uh, on our concerns, like uh, with apps like TikTok. I've said that before. You've heard us say that from here. Uh, we know certain countries, including China, seek to leverage digital, digital technologies and Americans' data in ways that can present national security risks. And so that is that is uh, in Texas, where they're cracking down on uh, undocumented immigrants. In the Florida legislature, there's a proposed uh, bill that looks at requiring private companies to do more to check the immigration status of their employees. In Texas, there are lawmakers considering uh, a bill that would deny undocumented children access to public education. Does the White House have any comment on these efforts? On the first day of this president's, uh, the president's uh, presidency in his tenure, first day of his tenure, he said very, very clearly that he took immigration reform very seriously. And he this bill says that uh, they would deny undocumented children access to public education unless the federal government pays for it. If this moves forward in Texas, is this something that the administration considers? Yeah, I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not going to get ahead. I haven't. Not Republicans uh, actually taking real action and not doing political stunts because that's what we see in these states is continued political stunts and not really dealing with an issue that they can. If we came in a bipartisan way, we can actually deal with uh, with the immigration concerns in this country. But they refuse to do that of the situation. Can I just ask briefly on the Fed Chair search, the Fed Vice Chair, excuse me, search, is there any update you can give us? And in particular, Senator Warren is a critic of Chairman Powell and has called on the administration to appoint a vice chair that is effectively a counterweight to Chairman Powell in decisions on interest rate hikes. Do you have a view on that? Are you, in, in essence, trying to counterweight the chairman in this process? And where is the process at right now? I'm certainly not going to get ahead of the president's process or lay out what, uh, what he's thinking or how that process is going to move forward. What I can say is uh, this is a priority for this president. I don't have anything to preview on any specific candidate or 